Hey guys, new video here. Uh, what a crazy 24 hours with this new patch. It has been uh, quite the mess, but it has been quite fun. I want to share my experiences with it. So before I go into what all went wrong with this patch and, um, you know, the problems with it, uh, I would like to get some backstory, right, with these tweets, because if you have no idea what's going on, this will give some uh, background information. So uh, I was laying in bed, you know, I wake up a few hours before I usually stream and I go to Lost Ark Twitter because I will see, you know, do we get patch notes? Do we get some extra information, right? I see this uh, this beautiful post about how there are some critical errors in the Lance Master patch. And uh, guess what? It's not coming. You're not getting it tomorrow. Um, people have been hyped for this for weeks. You know, people have been farming. They've been calling off work and stuff. And uh, they are ready to play this new class and the new uh, continent and all that good stuff, right? So you scroll down in the comments, you know, ratios all over the place. People are pissed and, and rightfully so, right? So as for me, I think about it, I go, wow, this really sucks, right? Because I don't get any new content. I'm going to be farming the same thing. But, you know, it's fine because I like the game. Uh, I'll keep progressing my account. Luckily for me and everyone else, an hour later, we get another tweet from Amazon saying that they were able to kind of fix things and they will be able to deploy the patch. Right? There's a little reverse debate going on there. So um, it's kind of funny because like I'm imagining someone who has uh, called off work, right, for that day to play the whole day, maybe multiple days off work. And then they find out we're not getting it. So maybe we're getting it next week. So then they have to like email their boss and say like, you know, I'm coming back into work actually. But then an hour later, the, the, the new tweet comes out and then they have to like email again and be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm actually like shitting my pants and like I have diarrhea or whatever. And then they have to, you know, they have to like make up some excuse to be sick again, right? It's like pure comedy in my mind. So that was kind of funny that, that this change came out so fast, right? Like one hour after saying there's critical errors, like we don't know what kind or anything, they don't give any back or, uh, any information, um, but they were able to fix it. And uh, you'll see in the issues with this current patch that obviously it was because um, people were so mad that I really think that they just pushed out this patch with some minor fixes to like the huge issues um, and just to, to make sure there wasn't like a dumpster fire on the forums, on Reddit and, and you know, just like a whole PR thing, right? Because they did kind of promise that uh, the 21st was going to be the big patch, okay? So... Um, the day of the patch comes and I'll go over all the things that went wrong, of course, but please don't take this as like an overly negative video because I am actually having so much fun with this patch. I love it, right? I, I streamed for like maybe like 20 hours yesterday or something. I, lo I love the game right now because there's so much to do. It feels almost like how I felt on launch day of the game, like back on February 8th, I think, because like there really is so much to do and there's not enough time. That's kind of like how I feel about the game right now. So I do think it's interesting that like... If you think about how, if a game is, as long as it's good and fun and you're engaged and stuff, you're actually willing to put up with like an insane amount of bullshit, right? Just because you're enjoying it, right? Now, maybe I'm easy to please and I'm not really like too much of a doomer or whatever. Um, but, you know, we have ourselves in a little situation here because uh, I'll go over, mm, what do I want to start with first? Uh, let's talk about the Phaeton Power Pass and the Express Event. These are two things that we got in the patch, okay? Um, two things that were given to us for free. And I'll refer to them as the Phaeton Power Pass and Express Event separately, right? The Phaeton Power Pass, what it is, is a free uh, boost to a character of your choice on your roster. Um, it boosts it to item level 960, okay? Puts them in Phaeton, and the entire quest line is completed up to that point. You can do those uh, dungeons if you want, um, or you can hone the character, right? Upgrade your character and go directly into Tier 3 if you're able to hit 1100, right? We got the Arc Pass um, that came out, so, like, it's very easy to do. Um, once you get to 1100, then you move on to Punica, right? Simple enough, right? Sounds easy enough. Great. Um, but there's a little bit more to it. So, Right now, I'll, I'm going to put an uh, image because, like, the Fade and Power Pass, everybody can understand what that is. But the Express event is a little bit more complicated because we haven't gotten anything like this like we did with the Vern Power Pass. So um, I'll, I'll just scroll down here and you will see uh, everything that's included. It's basically uh, what you do is you pick any character on your roster again, right? No matter if it's like a, a fresh character at level 50 or a tier three, your main character, right? And you complete these missions shown here. You unlock some massive rewards, usually related to honing. And the purpose of this was to catch up a new player um, who just started the game up to the current content faster. Maybe they catch up their friends or you can use it and benefit yourself by getting a, another character that you want to play, right? It's a very alt heavy game uh, Lost Ark and then you can play that character as well in the current content because tier 1 and 2 will be probably very boring for you um, uh, compared to tier 3 if you've already been playing since the launch of the game. So what happened, right? Well, first, the Phaeton Power Pass is mailed to you, right? It is in your mailbox. 
If you hover over the ticket, you're going to see that it says that the date of expiration is June 30th. OK, so what that means to any normal person, right? I read that I go, oh, OK, if I use that, I have until June 30th to boost my character to 960 and then do with it what I want. Um, that means that you, know, you can even use it on Destroyer, which comes out uh, supposedly in, uh, let's see, January, February, March, April, uh, May. That's supposed to come out in May or you can even use it after May for the class, the unannounced class that will be coming out in the following month, right? Because this goes until the, the end of the month. So um, everyone's clear on that so far. But what people did is people used it, right? They took the ticket out of the mail into their inventory and they right clicked it. So that it was um, loaded into their account, right? From the character selection screen and people used it. And then they, they looked at the event after they logged in and said it, it changed it to one week, meaning that it's not, if you use the ticket, it wasn't 630 anymore. You had one week until like the 28th to use it. OK, so uh, it's kind of hilarious because there's a lot of instances of things like that where it'll read one way and then it'll change um, afterwards. Very confusing stuff, right? Um, and like imagine um, something like the engraving books, right? So in this game, you get a ton of engraving books of different colors. And if you mouse over most of these bags, OK, the vast majority of them will say untradeable. Right. But if you right click these uh, engraving books and then you take them out of the bag, those books a lot of the time are tradable. Right. They, they, it changes the text. So it's super confusing. And this is just one example of maybe it's like translation stuff in the game. I don't know. Localization stuff. I have no idea. But there's a lot of stuff in this game like that that can be very uh, confusing. So now people are like, oh, man, like I thought I could use it. You know, I didn't want it sitting in my inventory, taking up space. Right. That's super annoying. So now they, they only have a week. Right. That sucks that the class that they are looking forward to may the destroyer or the one after that um, is not in the game yet. OK, but the fun does not stop there. So. Uh, the express event shows a nice juicy chest uh, full of really good rewards when you mouse over it, right? And um, honing materials are kind of previewed as the big thing like in tier three, right? So you get like legendary packs, you get great stuff, but there are tier three honing materials previewed. Now, it doesn't go over the absolute crap ton of mats that you get for tier one and tier two as well as a honing buff that like I had to like find out from someone else um, that is on the character you use it on, right? This information is not very easily uh, obtainable just by glancing at the event, right? Very deceiving because event seems simple enough. So you know how like the hideout bonus is a 10% chance, uh, increased honing chance, and then also, you know, you just like, I think it's like 10 or 20% less mats. Well, this event, um, if you apply to a character, you get the hideout bonus, right? That if you have that already, but it also gives you a 20% boost to honing chance on top of that, right? It stacks. Um, and then after that, it also makes it so you use something like, I think it's like 40% less mats um, with that increased chance to hone, right? Which is already wild because if you think about a tier two character uh, and when you would actually have a chance to fail a hone, it's not until level 10 to 11 or something where the 100% chance goes to like 90% chance, right? So you can imagine with a 20% boost, it's like one or two levels above that. Really crazy, right? So then at the at the end of it, you only need to like tap your gear maybe like two or three times instead of like six times, right? Uh, five times. So um, really, really huge multiplier to like how fast you get to the tier three. Okay. Um, so if you made the journey from tier one to tier three, like at the beginning of the game, right? You kind of know that uh, when you look over these rewards and stuff, you, you kind of look at the system of how like uh, you also get uh, two hones, right? So instead of like up until like level 12 or something, instead of going like one to two to three to four, all the way up to 15, you actually jump from one to three, like you gain two honing tiers uh, per tap, right? It's really crazy. So you would think that like, okay, I get it. This event is a free tier three character. Um, you can use the uh, the extra character slots that are offered in this patch, uh, or you can use an empty character slot, right, to make a class that you really wanted to play, and then you get that up to speed without destroying your gold reserves, right, because you'd have to spend money on these mats if you wanted to do this really fast, okay? It's a free tier three character. Any way that you kind of want to look at it, right? So what a lot of people did accidentally is they didn't see all the stuff I just mentioned, right, because it's not very well showcased, and they claimed this entire massive thing on their main character and most of our mains are thir high 1300s maybe they're argos right 1370 plus right and what that means is that those characters have absolutely no need of these like little side quests and tier one tier two materials and the honing buff because they're already past the point where it would help you um this leads to a lot of like fomo and stuff right like because 
their new characters that they want to make to get the extra materials, uh, they don't get any extra materials. They get nothing. They get no honing buff, nothing, right? Because they've already used, they wasted the event passes. So it's only on uh, one character. And the only way then to fast track would be to spend gold, which is extremely valuable and hard to make right now. So Amazon support comes out with uh, some response. I'll post one up here. And they say that they can't do anything about this, which is leading to a lot of frustration, right? Because, you know, it it compounds, right? All the things I've been mentioning kind of compound to lead to a really bad situation. So so after all that mess, let's say you want to create uh, new characters, right? You're like, you know what? Okay, whatever. I'm just going to create, um, maybe I wanted to make like two or three characters, but I was full on character slots. Um, or or now I know like the, the schedule of like the releases, I'm going to make my new character, right? Um, but what if you already have like the maximum amount? Well, before the patch, we had 12 characters. We got 18 now, up to 18. So six more than we used to have. Um, however, you can't buy, for a lot of people, you cannot buy uh, six character passes. You can only buy one, okay? Meaning that you can only increase your max uh, limit of characters maybe from either six to seven, or if you're at 12, you would go from 12 to 13. You cannot make all the characters that you want to make if you want to make more than one. So if you want a Glaver and something else, because remember, there's two passes to use, you cannot. So um, the game, though, it does, I think, let you buy the passes. Uh, however, you can't use them on the character screen. So a lot of people that I've encountered have this bug, and that means they really have to choose one character for now. And if you know how Lost Ark works, people, like, they want to do all their characters at once, right? They want to play all their characters every day. They want to start building up rested bonus and stuff like that. So this kind of, like, limits um, that strategy right there. So people are kind of pissed off because it's like this is free money for Amazon, right, and Smilegate. Um, basically, everyone wants more characters. As as I've said before, it's an alt-heavy game. So next, um, let's imagine a scenario, right, with everything I mentioned before. Let's say you're someone and you want to create a character, okay? So you create a new Lance Master or something. You fate and power pass it to 960. And you're like, you know what? I want even more mats. I don't care about the tier one stuff, but give me some more of that tier two stuff. So you use your express event also on that character. So you've used a fate and power pass, use express event, and now you can get an easy tier three character, right? You have fat boost, and now you're honing. You are at 1100, okay? You use all these, um, you use up all the mats. It's going to be super fast and easy. Then you need to go to Punica. You need to do the two Chows dungeons there to get your uh, full set, right? And then you can start playing uh, the end game, I guess, right? Uh, let's say that you're someone who doesn't want to level through Punica because you've done it six times already, right? You do not want to level anymore. So you're like, you know, I made some gold. I'm just going to use uh, a knowledge transfer. So if you guys didn't know, in this patch, there is a Punica knowledge transfer, which basically gets you... Um, uh, to skip the entire Punica story, right? Just like any other knowledge transfer. And then you can just go directly into the dungeon and then go from there. The only issue is that the Punica um, transfer does not actually work. All it does is eat your gold. So it costs 2,400 gold. After eight hours, I experienced the bug myself, as did many other people. You will uh, log into the character that you want knowledge transfer, right? You click on the button, right? It flashes. It's like, okay, um... It brings you to Trixion, you do the whole um, loading screen thing, and now it says that you are fully um, 1100 ready to do Punica. However, when you go to the dungeon um, altar, it doesn't do anything. You cannot do those dungeons. Um, you would have to do the Punica story all over again. So essentially, it's like a vending machine that like ate your money, right? You put in 2,400 gold, and you actually didn't get a knowledge transfer, even though you waited the eight hours, okay? There are some larger threads on this. Um, they haven't done anything yet. And I think that's just hilarious, right? It's not a big deal for me because Lance Master is not my main. But I imagine someone who did do this because they didn't want to level would feel so bad, right? Because it's, your choices are you wait eight hours, you're doing whatever else, and now you can't play your main character, right? And do you really want to um, go back and do the one hour and a half Puna commissions? It would feel really bad, right? So those are uh, some of the main issues, right? And throughout my day, there were also frequent uh, crashes at desktop. If you were loading into Jardian Raids, you were doing your, your boss rush tickets, your cube tickets, and even your Abyssal Dungeon. And some people I heard from even lost their lockouts on some of those things. Um, you know, for the most part, if I waited for people to um, log back in, it would either load in after a super long wait because people have different like PC specs, right? Some people load faster than others. And you could work around this sometimes if you waited for everyone to load in. But obviously, this is a huge issue because of the time it takes to launch this game makes it prohibitive. And some people just don't have that much time to try and try again. Um, me personally, I tried three dungeons with my friends and each three times they crashed to the desktop and it just didn't work, right? 
Um, they did release a patch later in the day where uh, they fixed these issues to the, for the most part, um, but it was like eight hours after the uh, patch had launched. So people were unable to do their dailies. And as things are time sensitive, I can see people, you know, not being able to um, kind of play the way that they wanted for that, for like the most hype day of the patch, right? Kind of sucks. So that's about it. That's all I want to talk about today. Uh, overall, South Burn is amazing. You get a ton of card packs. It's per character. I'm really happy with that. I won't talk about any of that because you can watch other videos about exactly what to do with South Burn. I just want to talk about some of the issues um, that, that were kind of funny today. You know, it was a really crazy day. And uh, I'll leave you with uh, this image of this guy in South Burn. If you know what I'm talking about, okay, when you're training this quest, then you'll know. And if you don't know and you haven't done South Burn yet, uh, go do South Burn. And I guess if you made it this far in the video, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about with this one mob, okay? You'll probably know. There's a 95% chance you're going to hate this mob, okay? Uh, so comment down below if you have encountered him. And let me know how that went. And um, I guess at this point, the video is where I say uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I stream every day on Twitch, uh, 8.30 usually in the evenings. Uh, Twitch.tv slash dog underscore. Okay, hope to see some of you guys there. Okay, love you guys. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.